Hello, this is Virginia with Butterfly Training Human Services, Butterfly Training Ministries, and Doers of the Word Bible Study and Fellowship. This is a special message, announcement that I want to share with you. Yesterday, when I was driving around, running my errands, and going to appointments and meetings, the Heavenly Father and his Holy Spirit enter the car. I know that may sound strange to you, but as I was praising and praying to Heavenly Father while I'm driving in the vehicle, the Heavenly Father presence and his Holy Spirit came into the car because all of a sudden, I just began crying with unspeakable joy. It was unspeakable joy that came into my heart and my mind and my soul and spirit. And I was just laughing and smiling and just rejoicing in the Lord. <laughs> and I haven't felt that way in a while. <laughs> and I know. The Heavenly Father is with his humble, obedient, clay vessel, children and servants and remnants who put their faith, hope and trust in reading, studying, meditating and doing his holy word. I wanted to share that with you because a lot of people believe the Holy Spirit does not exist anymore. They don't believe in God anymore. They don't believe in Yahweh Elohim. They don't believe that he exists in our lives today. But he is there with us even when we are going through storms, financial, physical, emotional, spiritual storms in our lives. He's with us when we're going through valleys of depression, doubt, discouragement, resentment, frustration. He's with us when we are experiencing challenging situation issues and times in our lives. It is important that we praise the Heavenly Father even in the midst of our storm valley pit situation before the holy spirit came into the car yesterday wait weeks and days before i will praise heavenly father spend time with him a private place of prayer i will read the heavenly father's holy word i will get down on my physical knees and the knees of my heart to praise him Pray to him, glorify him, honor him, worship him. I highly recommend you as a born again believer, follower, and doer of the Heavenly Father and his Holy Word and his Son, the Messiah, to do this every day as we are preparing our hearts, our minds, our souls, and our spirits our finances, our family, our friends, whoever, whomever, wherever we are in and, are, and who's around us for the coming of the, the Messiah Yeshua, the coming of Yahweh the King's kingdom and what is happening upon the earth now and beyond. The Heavenly Father is in charge and in control of everything, everyone we see and don't see. I just wanted to share you this good news that the Heavenly Father's presence is still among his children who trust and believe and have faith in him and has spent time reading, studying, and meditating in his holy scriptures. Also, when the Holy Spirit came into the car yesterday, it's, it's very interesting, the vehicle I was driving, I was not driving my normal vehicle that I usually drive the automatic because it's going to have to go into the shop for repairs. I was driving usually my husband's car, but he's not driving it right now because of his injury. So I'm using the manual shift 
the smaller vehicles, a vehicle that needs a lot of um, action to work. You have to work the clutch, the brakes, the accelerator, and <laughs> the gears for it to go. <laughs> In case you don't know how to drive a manual shift car, it's uh, this vehicle that we bought oh, several years ago. It's um, a little small Honda vehicle five-speed manual shift. The gears are in the middle of the car between the two front seats. And I was blessed by my parents and my brothers to teach me at a young age how to drive a manual shift car. So I'm driving this little Honda car. It's very low to the ground. It's a smaller vehicle. Uh, it's a uh, very unassuming vehicle and and as I was driving it around like I said earlier to appointments meetings and running errands the Holy Spirit just visit the holy presence of the Almighty Yahweh presence came into the vehicle <laughs> I have been praying and asking the Father for help in situations and matters and to me this is just a confirmation that he is telling me and anyone else who's looking and listening to this message that he would never leave us he would never forsake us when we are trusting and believing and hoping and in, in his word doing his word loving him with all our heart mind soul and strength and loving our neighbors as we love ourselves so I would like to also read some Holy Bible verses. I want to go to Deuteronomy chapter 31. And I'm going to read one of my favorite verses. This is a verse Heavenly Father gave me several, several years ago for encouragement when I was going through a challenging, difficult time. And it's verse 6 in Deuteronomy chapter 31. Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord your God, he is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you, nor forsake you. We should remember this when we are experiencing challenging times of spiritual walk with Heavenly Father with our finances, with our physical body, any type of issue and situation that we are experiencing that we are having difficulty, maybe with our children, our grandchildren, someone in our family, maybe we're having a problem at our employment or work or a business, school with a teacher, professor, we go to the Word of God, and I read that from the New King James Version, that we have the Heavenly Father's strength to be strong. We have the Heavenly Father's strength to be courageous. We have the Heavenly Father's strength to not fear and not be afraid of people who are causing these difficult emotional and maybe physical, spiritual, financial challenges in our lives. Because it says in this verse that Heavenly Father is the one who is going to go with us. He is going to be with us and he will not leave us or nor forsake us. This means even when we are in the valley pit, going through the storms of life, the Heavenly Father is there with us. I like to also read another verse from the Holy Scriptures. And this is going to be in... Isaiah chapter 41 and this is also another encouraging verse that we should remember and I'm going to go to verse 10 of Isaiah chapter 41 fear not but I am with you do not I'm sorry let me start again please forgive me fear not but I am with you be not dismayed, 
for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This is Heavenly Father, Almighty Yahweh the Heen, speaking through Isaiah the prophet, and to us today as servants, children, remnants of the Heavenly Father, of humbling ourselves under the Almighty's hand, He will tell us to fear not because He is with us. We will not be dismayed or discouraged or frustrated or flustered. We will not be freaking out, cussing out or kicking out because the Heavenly Father, Almighty Yahweh, He was with us. Why? Because He's going to strengthen us, it says in this verse, and He will help us and He will uphold us with His righteous right hand. Heavenly Father's righteous right hand is going to help us, uphold us. He's going to strengthen us so we will not be dismayed, confused, or not being faked out from people who are nefarious and disingenuous. But Heavenly Father will give us His wisdom to be strengthened. He'll give us His his uh, anointing to be strengthened. He give us his favor to be strengthened and not to fear because he is with us. I'd like to read another scripture from the Holy Bible, the Holy Scriptures. I'm going to uh, Romans, and this is Romans chapter 8. And this is a, a very popular scripture as well that a lot of people have heard and read. It's going to be verse 28 of Romans chapter 8. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose. So this very famous scripture is saying to the humble, obedient, clay vessel service, children, remnants of the Heavenly Father, Almighty Yahweh Elohim, creator, king of the universe, is that he is going to help us to go through all things. We know that all things work together for good. Why? And the answer is in the same verse to those who are called according to his purpose and those who love the Almighty Yahweh When we love him, we're going to wait upon him to give us his strength, wisdom, power, intelligence, knowledge, understanding, favor, anointing, to not be afraid, not to be dismayed. And he's going to work it out in his timing and his way for good because we love him and we are called according to his purpose. Not our purpose, not our agenda, not our way of wanting to do things our way. It's according to the Heavenly Father's purpose. And lastly, I would like to read another scripture from Revelation chapter 3. And this is verse 8. I know your works. See. I have set before you an open door, and no one can shut it, for you have a little strength, have kept my word, and have not denied my name. The Heavenly Father is speaking to, these are the letters to the churches in Revelation, and in Revelation chapter 3, this is a letter written to the Church of Philadelphia. And so the Heavenly Father is saying to his children, servants, and remnants who are humbling themselves, trusting him, believing in him, loving him with all their heart, mind, soul, and strength, and loving their neighbors as they love themselves. They are spending time with him in his holy word, the holy scriptures, the Torah, Tanakh, Brick, Kadashah, Old and New Testament. They are spending time with him in their private place of prayer. They are reading, studying, meditating, wanting to draw closer to the Heavenly Father while there's still time to do so. And Heavenly Father, see our works. He see how genuine, sincere heartedly we are in our works to be obedient 
to the Heavenly Father to serve and, and to seek Him with a whole heart and diligently seek Him. And He sees that He has set before us an open door. The door isn't open until He sees our works that we are doing. You know, we are not saved by works, we're saved by grace, but it says in the Word of God, faith without works is dead. So when we have works of faith, the Heavenly Father will open the door. This is uh, the faith that we have in the Almighty to see His hand moving and shaking and doing miracles, signs, and wonders in our lives. And as He is opening this door, no human being can shut the door that the Heavenly Father, Almighty, Almighty Yahweh Elohim, has opened. Almighty Yahweh Elohim, Creator, King of the Universes, will open a door for us that no human being can shut. And it says why he's opened the door. For we have a little strength. The strength that we have from the Heavenly Father is going to help us to sustain our relationship, spiritual walk, trusting and believing in these days of Noah preparation journey. It also says we have kept his word. We have guarded the word in our hearts and our minds, our souls and our spirit. We guard our gates that we don't allow anything or anyone to enter our body temple, which is where the Holy Spirit is housed in our body temple of born again believers by the blood of the Lamb, Yeshua, Yeshua. And then another reason why he's going to open the door is because we have not denied his name. A lot of people are denying the name of the Heavenly Father, Almighty Yahweh. A lot of people are not keeping his word. And, and they think they have a lot of strength in their own thinking, their own ability. They, they think they have strength because they have a lot of money. They think they have a lot of strength because they have connections and networking with individuals who are powerful in in their financial status but our strength comes from the almighty Yahweh the Heme, creator king of the universe our strength comes from Yahweh yod hey vav hey el gabor el shaddai el el yon our strength comes from the most high and because we have works of faith this is works that the heavenly father has commissioned and orchestrated us assignment to do, he will see that the door was going to be opened by his hand. The Almighty Yahweh the King, Creator King of the Universe, Yod Hey Vav Hey El Gabor El Shaddai will open the door. This could be a door of favor, a door of finances, a door of healing, or a door of deliverance. He's going to open the door of of understanding and wisdom, a door of promotion, a door of giving us an answer to something we've been praying about for many weeks, months, and even years. He's going to open a door in his timing and his way. And when the Heavenly Father opens the door, no one can shut it. It says here in verse 8 of Revelation chapter 3, verse 8. And the reason why the Heavenly Father himself is going to open the door which no one can shut because we have put our faith, hope, and trust in the Almighty Yahweh. We have not denied His name. We trust and believe in His name. And we have kept His word. That means that we are continually to read, study, meditate, and do His word. When we keep His word, we are living His word daily in our hearts, and our minds, and our souls, and our spirits. We are keeping His word in our family life, our professional life. We're keeping His word in our lives around people that we don't even know, around strangers. We're keeping His word in every matter, every issue. I would like to read some prayers from a, a very interesting and wonderful devotional. It's called Prayers for Emotional Wholeness. A lot of people are going through some emotional struggles, financial struggles, physical struggles, and spiritual struggles in 
these days of no preparation journey that we're now living in. We're living in the days of Lot and we're living in the last days. You can read about that in Genesis chapter 6 and 7, 2 Timothy chapter 3. So in this book that I just showed you, I'm going to read uh, page 191, When I Need Help in Tough Times is the title of this devotional. Dear Lord, I look to you to be all the help I will ever need. Even though I see no other help on the horizon, I will not be afraid or concerned. Even though I may not see a way out or a good solution to certain problems, I know that you do. So I will keep my eyes on you. For you are the creator of heaven and earth and all that is in them. So I know you are well able to create solutions to my problems. I praise you and thank you that nothing is too hard for you. And the scripture that's coincides with this devotional, Psalm chapter 121, verse one and two, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence comes my help? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. So we see from the Heavenly Father's holy words, his words from the Heavenly Father, Almighty Yahweh Elohim, creator king of the universes, says that we look to the hills. We look to the Heavenly Father. For that's where our true help, true salvation, true joy comes from. So thanking you for your wonderful time to spend with us as we are studying, meditating, learning how to do the Heavenly Father's Holy Word by reading His Word every day, studying it every day, meditating on His Word every day in our private place of prayer. Let's end with prayer to the Heavenly Father, Almighty Yahweh. Dear Heavenly Father, Almighty Yahweh, Creator King Universes, thank you, thank you, thank you for your wonderful words, your wonderful scriptures, your wonderful presence. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for your Holy Son, the Messiah, Yeshua, Yeshua, the one who is, was, and is to come. The Heavenly Father, thank you for protecting us during the day and the night. Thank you for the wonderful blessings, a roof over our head, clothes and shoes of wear, transportation. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for food to eat, liquid to drink. Thank you for all the provisions. Thank you for your power, peace, and protection. And thank you, Heavenly Father, for all your many wonderful, glorious miracle signs and wonders you have bestowed in our life now and beyond in the future. Heavenly Father, help us to continue to trust you, love you, believe in you, and do your word in our everyday lives. Bless our family members wherever they're located. Keep them safe and well. Bless them to come to itself and believe and receive you, Heavenly Father, while there's still time to do so. Blessing all elected officials around the world that they will make righteous, godly decisions that will be beneficial to their residents and also be pleasing and glorifying you, Heavenly Father. Thanking you again, Almighty Yahweh Elohim, we can never thank you enough because you're so good to us in spite of ourselves. We trust you. We love you. We pray to you. We praise you. We worship you and honor you. In the name of the Messiah, Yeshua, Yahushua, Jesus of Nazareth. Amen. Thank you and blessings.